So this is a uh, stepper motor I bought off eBay, a rather large one uh, for a project and um, never actually got around to doing the project. Did chuck a uh, couple of full weight bridge rectifiers across it, generated a bit of power, charged up a cap, run some LEDs. Um, it is very tight to turn so uh, I would say the magnets are quite strong in it. But a uh, bit of information on it, DC2A, 1.8 degree steps, um, made by Sanyo, so quite a good brand. And uh, that's about it. Not much uh, made in the Philippines. So, um, still in as new condition. I think I paid $52 for it, delivered to me door. But uh, what we're going to do is take it apart, have a look and see what's inside for those of you that don't know. So like I said, a medium to uh, large size stepper motor compared to the small ones we get on 3D printers and the likes. So um, I'm just going to take this thing apart, have a look inside it. I'm guessing it's uh, just a uh, larger version of what we would normally have. Lots of little increments on the rotor and the stator windings. That's our four screws out. We should be able to um, get this thing apart, or maybe not. It's very, very tight. There we go. Uncap, looking quite neat and tidy inside. Let's see if we can get this uh, back portion off. I imagine it's going to be stuck to all the windings. So we might just see if we can pull the rotor out this way. <coughs> we have a uh, thrust washer on the back side, none on the front side. I'm guessing you're still in the shot there, yeah. So that is our wild looking rotor. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but each step here is offset to the step on the next segment of steps on our rotor. So uh, one line is in between two of the lines on that one. Nice shiny unit. So I would say between say this step here, uh, this is the magnet, um, this step here and the next one across is our 1.8 degrees was it? Uh, yeah 1.8 degrees apart. So these lines here and on the third drum are lined up and the second and the fourth drum are lined up. So each little notch is 1.8 degrees. As far as our stator goes, um, we have three, five, seven, nine sets of coils. Eight sets of coils, not nine. Um, nicely wound and once again inside the drum I don't know if you can see it but uh, that also has the little steps on each of the um, stator segments so a uh, quick little pulse of current through these coils will cause it to step one little step and a quick little pulse of current on the opposite four sets of coils will cause it to click around one more step. So uh, that is inside, or what's inside, a large stepper motor. And as we would assume, exactly the same as a small stepper motor. So, but uh, quite a strong magnet. And 
I would guess that they are opposing poles. Oops, just moved the camera a little tad behind my compass. So that one there seems to be a south. And I reckon that's pushing the needle away there. So north on one end. Ah, so there we go. South on the other. So it's really just like one big magnet all the way across. Yep. And quite strong. So that is inside a stepper motor. Um, very simple piece of equipment and very effective and these have quite a bit of torque so um, but of course slow revving not like a good old brushed DC motor or a uh, three phase um, motor that you would get in small motors like this or brushless motor as they call them um, these are for things like uh, 3D printers and we need very small increments of change so there you go that is inside a stepper motor now we've got to try and get this back down in that hole so we can put it all back together and now my screwdriver is magnetic and won't let go of the washer there we go, we actually got that in there. Sit that back in there and I probably should have marked this before I took it off. Because uh, I don't know which way around it goes now. Hopefully it won't matter. We put the screws back in and it still turns. We've done a good job. I would imagine it wouldn't matter so much. One would hope. Let's see if I can... Um, I do have a controller for one of these somewhere. Now the only thing is we're shifting house um, in a couple of months so and I have no amount of stuff to move as you just might have guessed so uh, just quick little videos while I'm going through my stuff to pack up actually turns freer than it was before we took it apart so <laughs> maybe we've done some good Alright, that's inside a stepper motor, <laughs> nothing too exciting, but um, something to do late at night. Thanks for watching, and uh, as usual, we'll see you again next video.